And Kane is the first English player with a multi-goal game in a Euro knockout stage match. First to do so in a major tournament since Gary Lineker in the 1990 World Cup quarters. And in major tournaments, only Lineker has scored more than Kane. But perhaps that will not be the case much longer when you consider the torrid pace that Kane has been on the last couple of matches, putting three in the back of the net. And many of them in really splendid, beautiful fashion, including uh, really the first one that he got today, Natum, as you looked at the one that really got things going yeah. and took away any doubt about whether England was ready to play. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, the time of it was huge. And one thing I liked about this goal in particular was the fact that for Harry Kane earlier in the tournament, you were seeing him coming deeper and deeper and not being in areas where you want to see him try and affect the game. But with this goal here, as Raheem Sterling gets the ball, Luke Shaw makes a good overlap, which creates a tiny bit of space for Sterling. And this is a great ball, but for me, the key bit for Harry Kane is playing on the shoulder, being in key areas in key moments. Because when Sterling comes in there, at times you'd see Harry Kane maybe dropping off a little bit. But then lo and behold, on today when, the, when it mattered, there he was. Yeah, this is the second one. Raheem Sterling with a beautiful flick. He's full of confidence. And Luke Shaw who's been exemplary from that left, put it on a plate for Harry Kane. That's one of his easiest finishes, that. But yet when he plays further forwards and he doesn't come deep into midfield, it shows how prolific Harry Kane can be. Do you think that's got anything to do with the fact Mason Mount played today? I think it has, yeah. I think that the, the personnel around him really helped him today and he can stay right up and worry the defenders. You see the note that we mentioned and the historical context in which Harry Kane is now reaching after having the two-goal game in a major tournament and the nine goals now in major tournaments for England. And this just continues to build the confidence and it seems like every move, Maka, that Gareth Southgate has made has proved to be the right one in terms of keeping them, keeping them play of late. Yeah, whether he's gone to a four, whether he's gone to a five, the different personnel he has used, the fact is they're getting results now and today was probably their most promising performance, albeit... You know, argue against the weakest opposition, even though in the, it, it, we're, in, we're in the quarterfinals. The fact that he was able to bring on Henderson, Bellingham, um, Rashford, uh, Calvert-Lewin, keep a clean sheet, score four, excite the crowd. I think everything looks, you know, looks really positive and looking forward for him. So every decision he's made has been absolutely spot on, Gareth Southgate. Yeah, I totally agree. I think for balance, we have to say that Ukraine probably didn't play to their best today. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, for England, they still went out there and they did what they needed to do. And, you know, when, it, when you're winning 2-0 and 3-0, it's easy to play the mm. game. But they were showing flashes, which in some ways will build their confidence going into whoever they play against next. But for Gareth Southgate, like I say, I have to give him credit because he seems to be having a plan for every single, single game. game. yeah. And that, for me, is a, and that's a big And that's hard to do, isn't it, in yeah. knockout football? You keep the same team sometimes. That's the easy way, but he keeps on changing it. Not to take a trip to negative town. After well, that's that, exactly what you've gone. Don't that's say exactly it. Then. Just, gone. Then just don't say it. It's fine. <laughs> just move that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that graphic. This, this, this has been the uh, proverbial glass ceiling uh, for England really since uh, 1966 when they won the World Cup. Will this be the year that they turn things around in a major championship, do it in Wembley Stadium in front of their home crowd? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.